everyone. I wanted to make this very quick video tutorial just on some of the Excel shortcuts I use on a daily basis, and maybe they might save you a little bit of time. So here goes. The, the first one is in terms of sometimes when you get data, it, it's all squashed up, so the cell width isn't, isn't big enough. And I see plenty of people who go through cell by cell, and they do it like this. And then what happens is they make one of the cells too big, and then they go back to narrowing it down or anything. So all you have to do is click in the... the the space here between 1 and A, and if you double click on any of the borders, it will auto, auto size all the cells so you have them in the right order that you want. Okay, very quick way to do it. The other one is if you want to quickly turn on filters, so sometimes you want to turn on filters across the top here, so that's just simply done by Control Shift and the letter L. It turns the filters on, and Control Shift and the letter L turns them off. So again, very simple way to turn filters on, and then I only want to look at you know, the Arsenal data or something like that, and up comes. All right, and Control shift l turns them off. Really good, really useful. Okay, the other one is in terms of auto sum. So let's say I want to take um, this field here. So Control shift and arrow down, selects that column. Okay, and then I want to do an auto sum. So all I do is Alt and the plus or equals sign. Okay, plus or equals, and it auto sums. Okay, so again, a very quick way if you're doing some, some quick calculations. If you want to highlight an entire column, so let's say I wanted to do this column here. I want to format the cell maybe. So control space will highlight an entire column. So you'll see it does it all the way down. Or alternatively, shift space will highlight an entire row across. Okay, so in this case, let's just do control space. So I've highlighted the entire column. And now a very quick shortcut way to the format cell fields is if I do control and exclamation mark, and it brings up the format cells. And now I can choose if I want it as a date or a time or a number with some decimal places or anything like that. And you'll see it automatically adds in. The advantage of highlighting an entire column and doing that, it means if I add data here at a later stage, it carries the formatting down. So it's a, it's a really handy one to do. The other one is if you want to insert a column or a row. So again, in this case, it's slightly more complicated, but it, but it is a good one to do. So it's Alt, H, I, C. Okay, and it'll add a, a blank column in there. And the same if you're doing a row, Alt, H, I, R. And it will add a row in as well. Okay, so you can see it adds a row. So again, very handy one if you if you need to do that on a regular basis. Probably my favorite one, Control and Z, undo. And it'll go back as far as you keep pressing it. So Control Z is a really good one for that. Again, one that can be quite handy in terms of adding a new sheet is if you just go Shift and F11 on your keyboard, it will create an entire new sheet. Okay, so again, very quick, very short, very quick way to do it. If you want to add the time and date, so suppose you have some, you're filling in a form or a, a, a field and you want to put in today's date and the time you're doing it at, again, a very quick way to do that, control, shift, and colon will put in the time and control, semicolon will put in the date. Okay, so those again, control, shift, and colon puts in the time, control, shift, semicolon, or sorry, control, semicolon puts in today's date. Okay, they're not formulas, they're in as data, but suppose you want to keep a record of that, it's a very good way to do that. Okay, the last one is if I if I jump back to the main data, let's suppose we want to highlight all of this. So again, I'm going to use my control spacebar, uh, so it highlights all the cells, and I want to very quickly chart this information. If you have selected the data, all you have to do is press F11 on your keyboard, and there's the data charted, on a new block, okay? And then I'll move this keyboard out of the way for a second. And then you can simply go in and change the chart type if you want and do your various filtering. So a very quick way to create a chart on the fly. So I hope that's helpful. 10 Excel shortcuts in as quick as time as I could cover them.